mixing some yellow gold and the tip of the brush into some wild rose. Let's get the position of our flowers. Oh, look at that. Let's get the position of our flowers sort of on the paper before we start to introduce some pigment inks. I do want this to look a little bit loose. To splay the brush out and just get the feel of where those petals are going to go. Just get the feel of where you want the shape of the flower to go on the page. Now, into that lovely sunlit gold, yellow gold, and a little hint, just a touch of pink that will give you oh, the most gorgeous, the most gorgeous colours. Look at that pink, just oh, beautiful. Another little, little petal here. This is looking nice. A little bit more of the pink. I'm just going to flick a few little bits on into the centre. Okay, and then we start to put a few little leaves in, I think. All right, so that'll be the brush I'm keeping for my yellow. Then I'm going to dip into my green while it's wet. I'd like to give the impression that the leaves are attached. A little bit of, a little bit of sunlit green, country olive and midnight green. So the three greens, we're going to use a little bit of each. You can use two, you can use any green you like. So dip the tip of the brush into the midnight green and splay the whole brush. So touch the yellow, splay the whole brush, lift. Wonderful. A little bit of a, just a tip again. Let's have the darks here. Press and lift. Now, if you don't want to leave a gap, you don't have to. I quite like a gap. I quite like that. So I'm just going to, do another leaf here, press the whole brush down, move it across the paper. Oh, I just fancy a little bit of turquoise in this one. So dip the tip of it into the lovely turquoise. These are all Terry Harrison colours. These are the lovely new ones. Oh, so nice, just bring a little bit of the colour in there. Do you know, I kind of want a little bit of the green to go into the background. So I'm just gonna flick a little bit here, keep it a bit loose. I don't really want to have paint on that. And then clean the brush out so it's a soft, pale colour. And we'll just kind of work the brush into the background here. Just, we're going to put some inks on the back. So this is all going to be quite interesting colours like this. So I think I'm going to soften that edge as well. And then we can start putting some lovely dark colours into here. So this is still wet. I kind of want, um, I want this to, 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 to be really, really dark and I'm going to put a little bit of ink in. I'm not going to, to put so much in um, as there is on here. I'm going to show you how you can just use it in quite a subtle way. Let's put a little bit here. So if I just put some paint on this. So we've got this nice country olive. You could just have water. The key with using the pigment inks is water so i kind of want the ink to just travel across here giving me a little bit of texture so if you're a little bit nervous about using too much of the ink this is a nice alternative for you and um, let's use because we've used um the green the country olive let's use a little bit tiny little bit of the blue now this blue is midnight blue it's a beautiful, beautiful colour. I've got quite a lot on, on here, but I just want to put a little on the paper. I'm just going to put a little more water because water is the key here. Just a little bit more water. It's got to float on the surface. And then I'm just going to touch it with the brush, with the, the pen. Just touch it. Just a little. Don't want to do, in fact, I need more. I kind of need more liquid. It's got to sit on the surface and separate. Whoa, that's certainly sitting on the surface. Okay, then leave it. I'll just put my dip pen here. Now, because that's splashed, I want to get rid of that. That'll need somewhere to go. So let's just create. We can't lift it off. We can't move it, but we can dissipate it. So we're just going to press that like that. Flick it. In. All there is is water. Uh, look what is happening here. That is gorgeous. So I'm just using the inks to create this lovely, lovely texture. See how the inks are separating? All you need is water. It's all separating beautifully. Now, 
because I, I did splash it, and you're good, it's going to happen sometimes. I kind of want to agitate it a little bit here, but not too much. I don't want there to be a circle evidence of my mishap. So I'm just going to press that so it, I don't want to mush it up too much. I don't want to lose the texture. Lovely. Into my tissue, and I'm just going to I'm just going to lift that. So if you if you kind of dab it on, and you don't want so much, don't panic. The key is not to panic. The key is add water. Look at how this is now creating these lovely textures. So very very gently, I can then invite this colour to move over to this side, and the textures will just come over this way. So you're inviting that pigment ink to come this way. Now, it's the Artist's Quality Pigment Ink. It's available from my website. Oh, it's just sumptuous. And it's so fabulous to use in conjunction with your watercolours because you can just use a tiny little bit. You don't have to be quite as gung-ho as I like to be, but, you know, just a little. Now, there's still some on this dip pen. If I if I just introduce a little here, just a tiny bit, just to the... A touch, just on the surface, look. Just a touch. So it's just water. All we've done is put water. Put a little bit of colour, a little bit of water colour as well. I quite like to do that. And we don't really want it. Um, I'm going to agitate that because I don't want a little circle to appear there. So the key is you, you really do need a little pool of watercolour. There's a nice little pool here. If I just touch it again with the, 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 the dip pen, just touch the surface. Taking a risk, but with watercolour, if you don't take risks, you don't get these wonderful gains. Straight into there. Let's move that backwards and forwards again. Back into my brush. I'm going to put a little bit more green on here. Just flick the green into the middle. And then move it. Oh, look at that. So all this texture, we can move it around. I love this, loving this. And then we can use a tool such as a, a shaper, or a wipe away tool, or even a stick. I mean, a stick is just a wonderful tool to, to get all this movement onto your paper. So you can you can move the the ink. I now want to do this dark bit, but I think that's enough to show you just how the inks are, are working on the paper. 